Hi, this is Gareth Brown from Rich Games for Learning. I've got a decimal game to show you today called Decimal Quest. Uh, it's for older students, probably in a, about grades 5, 6 or so, who are looking at decimals. And in the game, players need to move around the board collecting decimals and then use those decimals to fill in their grid up the top here. So they get to see um, visually how decimals fit into a hole. Alright, I'll show you how to play. Now with Decimal Quest, the aim of the game is to fill in your whole grid. There, using the decimals that you collect throughout the maze. Each time a player moves, they can move between one to five spaces. So if blue goes first, they could move one, two spaces, uh, three spaces, anywhere up to one, two, three, four, five spaces. Now the decimal that a player lands on, in this case blue has landed on 0 0.01, which is a very small decimal, they need to write it in their collected decimals space. So blue's just landed on 0 0.01, they're going to collect 0 0.01. And red's going to move, they're going to make a bit of a, a smarter decision I think, and land on a bigger decimal. They can see 0.25 there, so they'll go 1, 2, 3, and land on 0.25, and write it in their collected decimals area. Now, in order for a player to move the decimal from their collected decimals area into their actual grid, they need to move back onto their little warp gate here. So, blue's going to move back now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and put their 0 0.01 into the grid. Now this is where you can explain to the students, uh, maybe draw it on the board or something, um, what 0 0.01 means. And when they're playing this game, they'll probably have a pretty good idea of how big a decimal is already. So we've got, there are 100 squares on here, it's a 10 by 10 grid. So 0 0.01 would take up one square. So when a player's on the little warp gate, they can take their decimals, cross them out from the collected decimals area, and put them in the grid. And red's going to do the same. One, two, three. They collected 0.25, which of course is also a quarter. So they divide this up into a quarter, and colour in their 0.25. I'll just do it quickly like that. And they also cross it out from where they've collected it. Now also, I just forgot to mention, when a player collects a decimal, for example, red just collected 0.25, as soon as they land on the decimal and write it in their collected decimals area, they also have to cross it out. So that decimal can't be collected again. And blue collected 0 0.01, so again, neither player will be able to go back to that decimal and collect it. Now the game finishes when one player has filled in their whole grid. And the winner, of course, is the player that does that first. Well, thank you for watching. If you like Decimal Quest and you'd like to download it, it only costs $4. So if you click the Buy Now button just below, then the link to download will be emailed straight to you. Thank you.